Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effect tutorial, today we are going to create this. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. So let's get started. As usual, first create a new composition 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, it's called main comp. Then create a new solid background layer. And search gradient ramp effect. Change ramp shape radial ramp. Then choose any color according to your choice. I am just showing you example. Now create a new composition. 400 by 400 pixel and it's called star. Then select star tool and create a star like this. Then open poly star 1 and change in our radius around 25. Align star center of the composition. Now go to main comp and drag star comp into timeline. And turn off the layer, now create a new solid layer. And it's called particle. Now apply CC particle world effect. Change birth size 3. Longevity around 2.5. Now open producer, and change radius x around 6. Radius y also 6. And radius z around 40. So it's look like something this. Now open physics. And change velocity around 0 0.15. Gravity 0. Then open particle tap, and choose particle type, textured square. Then expand texture, and choose texture layer, this star layer. Now change birth size 4. And death size around 0 0.090. And increase size variation around 70%. Then change the birth color white. And death color something look like our background color. Then apply glow effect. Change glow threshold around 50%. Glow radius 30. And glow intensity 2. Then change glow color B, black to something look like our background color. Now apply fill effect. And change fill color. Now create a new camera. I am using 35mm preset camera. Then create an all layer and parent camera with null layer and convert null layer into 3D layer then select null layer and hit P for position and add a keyframe on first frame then go to around 1 second forward and move Z position around minus 180 then go 2 to 3 frames forward and add a keyframe on same value Now go to around 3 to 4 second forward. And change Z position around minus 7 to 10,000. Then again go to 3 to 4 second forward and change Z position little bit. So now we have a lantern file. 
So drag this file over Compicon, so that it's automatic create a new Composition, and turn on this collapse transform icon. Now select Pen Tool, and create a shape like this. And move this shape layer below the Lawton layer. And apply fill effect, and change the color according to your choice. Now select ellipse tool and create ellipse. And copy the same fill effect. Then apply fast blur. And change the blurriness as per your choice. Then change opacity around 50%. Now go to main comp, and drag lantern comp into timeline. So here you can see the effect. And you can change the blurriness and opacity according to your choice. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we need to animation lantern, so move anchor point top center of the lantern. Then convert lantern into 3D layer. And hit R for rotation, now add a keyframe on Z rotation. And rotate the Z rotation. Then go to view frame forward and rotate Z rotation opposite site. Then go to again few frame forward and rotate opposite site. Do the same with around 3 to 4 second. Then select all keyframe and easy ease them. You can move your keys anytime. Perfect. Now hit P for position and move Z position, until I land and move out of the camera. Now duplicate this layer two time. Then select second lantern layer and move the Z position around minus three to four thousand. Then select third lantern layer and move Z position, closer to the camera. And move your second layer a little forward, so that it's look more natural. Perfect, it's look good to me. Then select all three lantern layer and hit T for opacity. And add a keyframe when our lantern going little far away. Then go to few frame forward and change opacity 0%. Perfect. Now we need to create a moon effect, so here we have a illustrator file of moon. Make sure you reach element of each layer. So that we easily animate this. You can download this file from description, then drag your illustrator file into after effects. So you can see this type of pop-up screen, make sure import kind composition and footage dimensions layer size, then hit OK, now open moon composition, and select all layer and hit collapse transform icon, then select any one layer and apply fill effect, and change color white, now copy this effect and apply all layers, So now we need animate this. First I am select all this type of flowers, so that we easily animate this. After select all flowers. Then hit S for scale and R for rotation. And go to around 10 frames forward and add a keyframe. Then go to first frame and change rotation 50 degree, and scale 0%. 
So here you can see the effect. Perfect. Now I am select all this little inner flowers. After select all flowers. And go to 10 frame forward and hit S for scale and R for rotation. And go to first frame and change rotation 80 degree. And scale 0%. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now select all this type of flowers. And again go to 10 frame forward and add a key frame on scale and rotation. Then go to first frame and this time change rotation minus 80 degree. And scale 0%. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we need to animate this outer side of elements. Select each elements and move anchor point bottom center of the elements. After move all anchor point, select one side of elements. Then go to 10 frame and add a keyframe on scale. Then go to first frame and change scale amount 0%. Then select second side of elements. And go to 10 frame forward, and add a keyframe. Then go to first frame and change scale 0%. So here it's look like. Perfect, now select top elements, and change the layer color, and move them together, and lock the layers. Then select middle elements, and change layers color, and move them together, and lock the layers. Now select again few elements and change the layer color, and move them together, and lock the layers. Now select all cyan layer. And move them all around 10 frame forward. And also you can randomly adjust all layer, so it's look more natural. Then select all sandstone layer and move when our second elements animation complete. And also randomly adjust them all. Then select all last elements, and move when our third elements has complete. And adjust randomly. Now create a new solid layer, and move them below the all layers, then apply fill effect, and change the color as you like. Now select ellipse tool and create a mask outside of the moon, then again create a ellipse mask. And adjust your mask like this. Then select second mask and change add to subtract. Then open both mask. And increase the feather little bit. And change opacity around 40%. Now go to around 1 second forward and add a keyframe on opacity. And go to first frame and change opacity 0%. You can also adjust keyframe according to your animation. Now select all layers and pre-compose them. And rename it. Now duplicate this comp layer.
and apply CC radial fast blur and change the amount around 20 then apply tint effect and change matte black to white and matte white to your color now go to main comp and drag moon comp into timeline and move layer when our lantern animation has complete if your moon not clearly visible open moon layer and change tint amount according to your choice now create a new composition 400 by 800 pixel and it's called star 2 then select star tool and create a star and also create a rope like this fill color none stroke around 4 then select star layer and apply fill effect and change color as you like also paste the same effect with rope layer now apply glow effect and change glow radius around 24 now go to main comp and drag star 2 comp into timeline resize if required Now we need to animate this star, open star comp, and parent star layer with row player. Then select row player and go to around 15 frame forward and add a keyframe on Y position. Then go to first frame and move your Y position like this. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. Now we want to add a bounce script in position. So copy this script. And apply on position. Move the star layer when our moon fully visible. Then duplicate the star layer, and resize it little bit. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we want to add our lantern on this side. So go to project window and duplicate the lantern com and drag into timeline and adjust like this then duplicate the lantern layer and move it opposite side of lantern and move anchor point top center of the both lantern layer and move it around 6 second forward and animate both lantern Y position like this Then select all keyframe and easy ease them. Now select both lantern layer and duplicate them. And scale down little bit. Then hit you to show keyframe. And select both keyframe and move lantern like this. Now add the same bounce script all for lantern.
Now create a new composition, 800 by 300 pixel, it's called text. Then add your text. Now duplicate the text layer, turn off the first layer for a while, and select second layer, and apply CC Radial Fast Blur. Change amount around 30. Then apply fill effect. And change fill color as you like. Now apply glow effect, and adjust glow according to your choice. Now turn on the first text layer, so now go to main comp and drag text comp into timeline. And move around 7 second forward. Here we have ink footage, so drag ink footage into timeline. Select text layer and choose track matte, Lumo inverted matte. And rotated ink layer like this. So that our animation has start bottom to top side. Increase the size of ink layer. So it's covered our text layer. Then turn off the ink layer. Perfect. Now add with our second text. Do the same as we done with our first text layer. I am skipping this part because the video already has lengthened. Our animation has done. Hit zero for render. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.